Good morning, everyone. This is RafeGal. We are playing a new game today. Uh, this is Gato Robato. Uh, this got recommended to me while I was doing my Steam sale reviews uh, as a good Metroidvania game from the same people who made, uh, I believe it's the same people who made uh, ba -ba -ba Messenger. So I'm excited. It looks silly and fun and definitely worth trying. It also is a uh, fairly low end on graphics, obviously. It's a you know, pixel art game. Uh, which makes me want or which makes me think my computer can actually handle it. <laughs> um and it's relatively short. Okay, so guy flying a spaceship, going to check out a an alarm at a abandoned facility. Great voice acting here. Gary, we've lost visual. Hang on, kitty. Okay, that makes this even better. Also, this has rumble features, and I hate it. I can't move, but I'm alive. Did anyone hear me? Kiki, my kitty! I have bad news, Kiki. I'm trapped inside the ship. You'll have to go in my place. Am I really talking to a cat right now? I'm off for a promotion. I can't afford another mishap. These research facilities generally have a pilotable security mech available. Let's see if we can find one. I'll help guide you using your radio collar. Okay. Uh, looks like I can't go this way yet. Yeah, this is a very heavily ins uh, heavily inspired by Metroid. Um. <laughs> Don't tell me you're scared of a little water. It's the only way forward. You only all right. You have you have to get in there one way or the other. Okay, so while you're, or so you start out with a wall jump. Let's see, there's some debris there we can't get past. Okay. Somehow it fits. Now that you're equipped, it's time to figure out what happened here. Good kitty. And now we've got enemies. Oh, that's an enemy. I was not paying enough attention, apparently. So it's got a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the blaster master thing going on. Where you can get out of your vehicle. Not seeing any item drops yet. So no health, and enemies respawn when you come back on the screen. These are good things to know. Health kit module. Maximum HP is increased. Okay. 
Not sure how many or how much they're gonna have in the way of hidden items. Oh. Okay, the mech does not like water. Good to know. Hey, it's even got a nice little timer for me. That's gonna make this uh, a lot easier to keep my episodes episode length good. Uh, the listing on how long to beat said that this was uh, only like three, four hours. So I'm kind of figuring this will be a good, fun little thing along with Mario. Uh, along with Mario All-Stars uh, to kind of tide me over here. Um, and I may... I'm probably gonna see if there's another good, uh... Another good one coming up soon, another RPG or something a lo little longer. Just kind of falling down without a way to get back up. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Oh. Locked room. bit of maze here, underwater maze. I've dealt with that in a Devolver game before. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to do this. Yeah. Okay, and this is going to give us, looks like, rocket modules. Okay. And then I think when we get the save point, we're going to get a, yeah, we're going to get a security mech. Okay. So we've got 21 rockets listed here. Oh, never mind. That's a... Temperature gauge. Okay. So I think as you basically get unlimited ammo as long as you aren't just spamming it. I like that. That's a really neat way to do this without making it, you know, really awkward. Without having constant ammo. Basically, it makes this a lot simpler than a lot of the other games, uh, other, uh, Metro or the actual Metroid games. Um, I'm curious if there's actually something down here. If there's, like, any breakable blocks or something like that. Again, I'm not sure what the secrets in this game are like. You know, Metroid, you have to shoot, like, every wall as you go through. This is back to the area I was in before, I think. Yeah. Save point. And... <laughs> A rat. Getting my butt kicked, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Quick respawn, right back to where we were. That feels really clean, and... For a game that has some difficulty factor like this, that's definitely good. I'm not sure if it actually has a really high difficulty factor or if I'm just bad at it. <laughs> I think the conclusion right now would just be I'm bad at it. I just realized there was a health meter at the top. seem like the missiles are actually doing much more damage. But they do give you extra range. There we go. Uh, was that mouse speaking? It seems like I have lost a lot of blood. Keep moving forward, I'm counting on you. Okay. Explore up here first, but it does look like there's something down there. And actually, I'm not sure I can get back out. So I think we're gonna try this first. That was my guess. I also really appreciate how simple the health meter is. You know, thinking about uh, Metroid, one of the things that's always driven me crazy with that series is the fact that your health is out of 100. Like, it seems like you could do, like, a, like five health where enemies do one instead of what it is, based on how powerful the enemies tend to be. actually something I was thinking about with, uh, oh, what game was that even? Uh, oh, the Mario and Luigi games. Um, they, I've always found it interesting that some of the, like, Mario RPG games after the original had a health meter that was on a like started at single digits and got up to double digits late in the game kind of thing. Okay, so this is gonna pull us back around to where we started it looks like. And now since we've got the missiles, we can go... ...through here, okay. 
Have we been down here yet? No, this is new. Let's check this out. Security faculty log. Jimbo. The doctor's gone mad. Security the system has been modified to target all personnel in the compound. Most of us have been killed or turned into one of those things. I've just kind of always found it a weird concession that uh, we insist on making all of our games have these, like, I guess one of the main point or places where I got frustrated with it was with uh, uh, when Final Fantasy X came out. Cartridge module. You unlocked the bark pellet. Uh, no thank you. That looks really ugly. I did the exact same thing again. I learned quickly, apparently. A hub of sorts, okay. Find the laboratory entrance. Let's see what you got, Kiki. Probably should have, uh... Which maps? No, I can only look at the map I'm on. Okay. Excessive flooding in the aqueduct, not good. Heater core is still affected by severe overheating. Ventilation system is all clogged up. Nasty stuff. I can only grant lab access if all uh, malfunctions are repaired. Okay. back up because I think I missed one thing. And then this seems like it might be a good spot to take a break. I suspect that we're eventually going to get a rocket upgrade that lets us shoot more than two at a time, and that's going to be part of kind of the equivalent of a double jump. I don't know for sure, that's just a guess. Did I get everything? I'm missing one spot on the far right there. That's really annoying. And that was because I didn't do a double jump, which I don't know if I can actually get up there. So never mind. I think we're good. I also really don't care about my health here because we're going through a re repeat section, not exploring anything new, and then heading back to the elevator where there is a full health restore. Uh, 
Okay. This is a fun little game. Uh, it's really straightforward. It's really just quick and easy. Like, especially having popped on here and seeing... Okay. So we're going to have five arm upgrades and four suit upgrades by the end. Or four more suit upgrades and three more arm upgrades by the end. Like, it's really straightforward as to what your expectations are going to be, which is neat. So, we're going to stop here. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.